The school's engineering challenge was first launched back in 2000. Now, almost a decade on, it's established itself as a regular welcome feature on the calendar for educational establishments across the region. The principles of the challenge remain the same as they did in that very first year. Schools go head to head to design, build and test prototype products. It's a competition which tests pupils' teamwork, design and manufacturing skills, as well as teaching them about commitment and the pursuit of quality. But it's also a fantastic opportunity for entrants to work with people from industry, learn new skills and make new friends. Oh, and above all, have fun. Well, the first thing I would say, I think it's independence. Um, they volunteer for the, the challenge uh, from approximately 150 students. It's open to all students of all abilities. Um, it teaches them new skills, it teaches them to work within a group, and it teaches them to, have, uh, to realize that engineering uh, can be an enjoyable subject. One of the main things is uh, competition, not only between the, in, the teams within the school, but then the final competition against other schools but they gain a great deal more because although there's competition there, a lot of the students, although the teams are competing against each other, essentially will help each other out. So there's peer mentoring, there's, there's a, a sense of belonging. It's, it's a real go at the whole idea of engineering. The competition begins when pupils are given the design brief. Next, they design and build their prototypes to meet the required specifications. Teaching staff and industrial mentors are on hand from the start to offer support. I think the benefit of this kind of thing is that it gives uh, children a chance to learn other skills. There's more of education than simply classwork. And sometimes people with skills of doing things don't do very well academically, but they've got other skills which are very useful. The manufacturing stage tests the pupils' ingenuity, planning, teamwork and fabrication skills. All schools taking part must then present four prototypes of each element contained in the design brief for the last stage of the competition. In the final, all schools come together to determine the winner. The points awarded are based upon creativity, quality of build, the product's finish and how well each team has met the design specifications. So, let building commence and may the best team win. enjoyed it all the way and all the fun that we've had. The whole event, I think, the final was the best event and when we stayed back and had a laugh and just enjoyed it all. Yeah, I would want to take engineering for my, um, my options for my GCSEs and hope I get a job in it. I think the best part was um, building the things, building the bridge, isn't it? I'd like to do mechanical engineering. Uh, 3D design for Formula One, like designing the shape of the car, the aerodynamics, the engine and stuff like that really. I'd like to do a variety of things in engineering and I would like to do an apprenticeship. Schools that were involved in the challenge last year, um, from particularly two schools, we have uh, almost 100% of those learners coming through onto the programme that we run vocational engineering programmes in the schools area here and uh, in total that's almost 30 individual learners who have come through onto that programme and are now doing a vocational training qualification. 